A projection of a moment sometimes can be a bit hard to understand. The best way I think of it is when you restrict the rotation about an indicated axis. I find that the projection of the moment is easiest when you take the moment about a specific point along the indicated axis, and then I take the dot product of the indicated axis and that moment. Have you ever wondered what happens when you shut your door? This is an example of the projection of moments. First, we need to identify the axis of rotation, which will be where we project our rotation onto. In this case, we know that the door can only rotate about its hinges. Next, we should locate the forces that are applied on the door, which would be the hand, and it acts at point A, which is on the other side of the door. Now let's say that the 3D axis was given to you where the hinges were the Z axis, the length of the door is the X axis, and coming out of the door is the Y axis. In this problem, we are going to assume that the force is not great enough to generate rotation about the hinges. Maybe they haven't been oiled in a long time. Now I suppose you are going to need some information, so I'll go ahead and give that to you. Now the, the process you want to follow when you find the projection of a moment is first identify a point on the axis that you are wanting to project your moment onto. Since the blue axis is along the Z axis, I can use my origin. Next, find the position vector from that point to any point that the force acts on. In this case, the force acts on point A. Next, I'll take the cross product of my position vector and my force vector to find the moment about the point that I chose, in this case, the origin. Then I'll have to find the unit vector of the axis that I want to project the moment onto. And finally, all we have to do is take the dot product of the moment and that unit vector. Now we'll just follow that process that I told you. We are taking the moment at the origin, so we need to, the position vector OA. Then we cross that position vector with our force vector to get the moment. Then we have to identify our unit vector, which is 0, 0, 1, because it is going all in the Z axis. None of this moment will go about any other axis, which makes sense since the, the door cannot rotate any other way than about its hinges. Then finally, we take the dot product of our moment and that unit vector, and we have our final answer of 4.48 Newton meters.